Each year, when I think through the Christmas story, I try to place myself in someone else's shoes, thinking through how they might have thought and felt. This year, I find myself drawn to the shepherds. They're going about their business, they're watching their sheep, when an angel of the Lord suddenly appears. The glory of the Lord fills the night sky and surrounds these men wandering the hills outside of Bethlehem. In my mind, they fall to their knees or onto their faces. Luke 2 says they were terribly frightened. God, through the angel, speaks into the fear. He tells them not to be afraid, for the good news of great joy has come and will be found with the baby lying in a manger. God's divine glory seemed to shine brighter after their words. The angels praise God, then they disappear from view, leaving the shepherds blinking. No delays with the shepherd, though. They say, let's go straight to Bethlehem then and see this thing that has happened to us, which the Lord has made known. God reveals himself to the shepherds, and they respond by leaving their sheep, their livelihood, and hurrying to Bethlehem. They scour the little town, perhaps no difficult feat, until they find Mary and Joseph. The shepherds then share God's words with the townspeople, and the people marvel at it. The shepherds do too, but their awe and wonder shifts in the moment of sight. No longer is the divine in the heavens. Instead, the divine is before them. And as they look about the place where Mary and the baby lay, they realize that the divine is in this baby. The divine is this baby. The divine was with them. The divine is Emmanuel. They returned to their sheep, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. May you experience the divine, not as something afar off, but instead as that baby, as that presence in your midst this season.